What's going on everybody? Welcome to my first Let's Draw video. In this video, we're going to start with a trademark character. He's over here. I have the reference loaded in the sub view. I'm not sure if all art programs have something like this, but it's pretty useful, especially if you don't have dual monitors. So yeah, we'll be drawing this character in a pretty pretty cool dynamic pose. I'm going to actually try and do something um, a little challenging. That's usually what I like to do with pictures like this. Just to make it a lot more interesting. But since it's going to be challenging, um, our sketch is going to be more important than ever. So let's just get started here. We're going to be looking from a somewhat top-down point of view. I wouldn't say a full bird's eye view, so we can still see most of his body. Or actually, we'll try to do it where we can see all of his body. That's definitely going to be a lot more challenging. So if you can't tell from the curved line, this is um, where he's going to be looking this way. And like I said before, my skeletons are very simplistic. So let's just get started with what resembles a neck here. Just very short because since we're looking from top down, um, most of the parts of his body are going to appear short. So I guess I can uh, just go down to the body here. There's going to be a slight angle, or actually maybe something like that. Yeah, this is just his torso and abdomen down here. I guess we can draw a little oval here to signify where the thigh starts. We can start with the shoulders over here. And these circles represent um, the actual shoulders at the top of the arm. Where the arm is going to start, basically. Hope my volume's alright, I'm trying something new with my microphone, so... Tried multiple tests and it sounds fine, so hopefully it'll come out fine. So with the legs? Maybe for a cooler, more dynamic pose, just um, spread his legs out a little more. Okay, it might sound like I'm trying to teach you something, but um, that's not what the Let's Draw series is for, so I might go off on a bit of a tangent at times. Just ignore me. The point of these Let's Draws is just, um, just so you can watch me do a larger project, basically. Do the arms. It's a very simple stick figure we got here, but it's very important since this is a tough angle that we're doing right now, a bit of a difficult perspective. Uh, once I get back to my Let's Sketch series, I'm definitely going to go over the more extreme angles we can work with, and then of course the rest of the body. But for right now, we're just going to try our hand at this and hopefully not fail too hard. Let's 
I want to make sure I get this right. It's very simple. Just to get a good feel of the perspective that we're going for. since this leg is farther from the other one. Yeah, this part of the body right here to the left will usually look a lot shorter than the part on the right here. So make the arm shorter. Because it's sort of slanting upwards this way, if you'll notice. Not too good at perspective myself, but this is why I like to do these sort of angles just to get a lot of practice in. But okay, I think this is a decent stick figure for what we're going for, but perhaps we can shorten it. Look, it's just a little bit taller looking pretty short right now and our angle is not that extreme okay so we've got our very basic stick figure here it still looks a little bit short to me but um, hopefully when we're doing our actual sketch it'll pan out nicely so let's just rename this layer to sketch or maybe even stick figure can actually do another layer up here to do the actual sketch. Let's lighten that a bit, turn down the opacity. Okay, so here is where the fun begins. The sketch is very important, so if we want to make good and fast, consistent line art, then we've got to make sure the sketch is good. It gives off our, pers our perspective well. I'm going to start with the scalp. start with our oval shape of our eyes. Go down to the muzzle, which is, you know, a little bit short since the character is a rabbit and everything. Don't want to make it too long and make him look like a canine or anything. So yeah, the purpose of this Let's Draw is not to teach you anything, but if you still learned something from this, um, that would be pretty cool. So we've got a very basic head shape. Make the jaw a little lower. Now we just get a good reference point for the ears. Yeah, and this will be considering um, wind direction, if there is any wind. And we will be coloring this, so we also need to consider the light source as well. I'd say you start with the ears generally above the eyes. So I'm just predicting my wind direction right now. And you can tell where the ears are going, that's pretty much where. Got a wind direction going that way. Yeah, just make sure the ends of the ears are curving around the scalp, so 
Let's keep note of this shape right here. And line up the bottoms of the ears according to that shape. Draw his nose. Kind of give it a bit of a V shape. Now, of course, my style isn't exactly like the picture shown over here, but I'll try to make it as similar as possible. Okay, we don't have to worry about the details just yet. I'm gonna go down to the body. Let's get started on that. So you'll see this line right here, the neck. Um, I'd say a good stopping point is right here. I believe the character's neck is pretty skinny, so... There you go. This bottom line here is a good reference point for where to start with the rest of the body. Start with the shoulders. I'm gonna draw him quote unquote naked at first. I like to basically draw the bottommost layer and then just stack clothing and stuff over them. Just drawing the whole body will actually give a good reference to how clothes fit over the character, how it wrinkles, that sort of thing. basic shoulder here. Going over the circle. I'm going to erase it eventually. All our bone. Now, since we're getting um, the shape of the body, sometimes the skeleton won't turn out very accurate anymore, so just feel free to make modifications to your sketch. And don't worry about the skeleton anymore in this area, just focus on what you're modifying over here. I like to draw the main um, the body, the torso, in three sections. One for pretty much where the ribs are located. Then the second is a lot shorter, but it goes more inward to smooth out into the shape of the abdomen. It's also pretty much where the ribs end, so I'll just draw some quick, quick ribs over here. Good reference. Draw the abdomen in this shape to get a good point where the legs might start. Start with the arms. I guess getting a good reference for the pectorals will help with the arms or where it should start. So around this point of the pecs is basically where the armpit would start. It would just go down from there. Very basic, almost oval like shapes.
down here. Start with the other arm. Not gonna start with the hands just yet. Want to make sure the body here looks fine according to the perspective we're trying to get. The same thing with the arms, except the legs are, of course, a lot thicker. About the knee. following the skeleton. He has some pretty big shoes, I think. Although you can't really get a good look at the shoe. I might have to bring up another reference image for that. That I look at it, the or his right leg could like come out a bit more. So we're just gonna move that over. Disregard the skeleton for now. I want his legs to be a lot more spread out. Give the impression like he's preparing for something. Noticing some problems in perspective already, so I'm going to modify things the best I can. Maybe his lower leg should bend so much. Move the whole body down a little more. Stick figure is wrong now, so we're just going to erase some stuff here. I like to zoom out to get a bigger, bigger look at the picture as a whole. Hmm. For the perspective that we're going for, maybe this, maybe his legs look a little, a little too long. Let's 
So with this sort of perspective, I guess you start large and then just go small, or just get gradually smaller. Quite difficult. Can't seem to get it perfect, but we're not gonna spend too much time on that. Wind up modifying things for another hour or so. So for hands, it's pretty basic with me. Just draw this shape here, sort of like this usually and then I draw the fingers as sticks get the impression that he looks a little too built here. According to the picture, he's pretty skinny. So I don't want to make him too muscular or anything. Hmm. shoes over real quick. Just emphasize how things get smaller with the perspective. So I pretty much draw his legs like really skinny around this point. I don't feel I'm emphasizing that enough. Let's draw this little circular shape here start of the shoe. And since we're looking from this perspective, um, we're going to see mostly the top of his shoe. So... Very tricky. This leg right here is bothering me quite a bit, but let's just move on. Start with the details.
probably not going to see his mouth. Looks like his... His cheeks are pretty furry, so... I'm going to get started with the goggles, or at least the shape of them. Drawing the fuzziness. Perhaps his eyes aren't too far apart. Spiky hair going on. Tempted to draw his muzzle longer, which means I'm probably not getting this perspective correct. actually flip this over. Yeah, 
Maybe we'll get to see a little bit of his mouth. big. Or maybe they're fine and I'm just going crazy here. muzzle turned out a little long, but I'm not... I don't think I'm going to worry about that too much. We can go ahead and hide the stick figure. I've got my own style going on here. It doesn't look exactly like the reference. I'm just going to let this video go on for about an hour and try to reach a good stopping point. Okay, I think we can stop messing around with the head now. Or make a couple changes up here. And then we'll move on. make the top of the goggles look more visible since we're looking at him from this angle. Thing is, I'm not too sure if we should um, make this part longer. Not longer, but just bigger in general. Maybe just a little bit. It's alright. Yeah, look at me winding up going over the head again. Really shouldn't spend too much time doing that. Just give me a little skinnier. So... I guess now we can start with the clothes. It's collar. A yeah, nice circle shape. Maybe a little higher, closer to his uh, jaw. Just disappearing right under it like that. Shoulder pads. At least 
guess they look like shoulder pads. Now it's sad that we have to start erasing the um, the main body, but that's what we're gonna have to do to get rid of the mess and make it a little less confusing for us. I keep saying we since I'm not really teaching anything here. I guess it's a habit now. Always make sure the bottom is nice and curved so it complements the perspective. Now since there is wind, it's probably going to blow this way and then move the jacket in this direction more away from the front of his body. These curves here can help further help show the perspective. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Of course, like I've been saying, this is just practice for me. It's not going to be perfect. But if you yourself have some tips for this type of perspective, um, feel free to let me know. Like the goggles, this object here, the belt. You can see more of the top. Although it seems like it's smoothed out. So it's maybe not too defined.
a little tough trying to line it with the body. He's got some pretty tight pants, it looks like. Smooth that out. Since they're so tight, I guess there won't be very many creases. Bunch here as it goes down to the shoe. Okay, I can dig it. Let's go over the gloves. It's another large circular object on the top. Pretty comical. on the gloves here. I think we can handle it. Like everything else, the fingers will be smaller since they are going towards the bottom. Draw the knuckles here for good reference. Looks like these gloves are fingerless. Start drawing whatever these are. Hand, um, hand goggles or whatever. Okay, that looks pretty good. Move on to the other one. I don't know if this happens to many other people, but when I draw, I tend to not blink too much. Especially when I'm as invested as I am right now, it tends to give me double vision. If this happens to anyone else, let me know. It can be very irritating.
also sometimes I grasp my uh, pen a little too hard. I don't realize it. So that causes my hand to start hurting. It's a lot of fun. legs a little, these little things here a little larger. Not sure if I want to make his shoes a little larger. Can't really tell what shape they're supposed to have, so I'm just gonna, gonna whip something up according to what I see. say overall it looks okay, but there can definitely be some improvements, especially on the head, so just to pan this video out a little longer, we're going to go back and see if we can make some fixes here and there. We're actually going to make a bit of a large modification here. This character is a rabbit, so you won't be seeing this eye too much. Therefore, we're probably going to have to bring the head shape over this way. Let's make the corrections as we go along. 
it comes to rabbits, I tend to forget the head shape a lot. In fact, let's get rid of this part altogether. That. Let's bring the eye. Very quickly draw how the head probably should look. Kind of goes down in this fashion. In fact, we'll probably see only a little tiny bit of the other eye. smaller. It's starting to look better already, actually. I'm surprised that I didn't notice this earlier. But, wow. I guess we might as well get rid of this part of the goggles. And do that over as well. As well as... Moving this part of the air over here. Where it's not always going to end up perfect the first time. I'm going to make big modifications like this sometimes. Menacing, but badass at the same time. I'll erase this whole portion. looking a lot better, at least in my eyes. Hope you guys see it too. I stick out just a tiny bit over here.
flip it back over. His muzzle a little more curved like this. See, that looks all right. A lot better than before. Legs just a little skinnier. The upper leg better. And the arm's fine, just this side make it skinny. There we go. starting to see fewer things that we need to modify so perhaps this is good for the sketch we won't have much of a background but um, we're going to try to help it complement the angle. But that will be for another time. So I suppose in the next part we will start on the line art and then start on the base coloring. Because this character is the main focus. So Yeah, I'd say that's a good point. But anyway, I'm just going to stop this part here, guys. So. Thank you for watching this um, episode of Let's Draw. If I haven't said already, this character is King Cosma from Summer Wars, and I'll be continuing with him in the next part, which will hopefully come out pretty soon. So I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching.